never really occurred to me that there was a problem with youth homelessness in Boulder. Everyone's sort of, you know, upper class. And then you realize that there's people who are struggling, and I just think it's really important to raise awareness about that. Every year it creeps up a little bit more, a little bit more, and then all of a sudden, in the last two years, you really began to notice that it's a large number. There's a lot of fear around homeless youth. If people are intimidated by homeless youth, they feel like they're, there's a threat or they're dangerous. And the reality is that these kids that are having to fight for food and a place to sleep every night, they're the ones that are afraid, and rightfully so. Even Boulder can be a dangerous place. If we're really gonna help people and more importantly change the systems that condemn so many of our youth to homelessness, living on the edge, we need to work together. Tonight we ask each of you business community leaders, moms, dads, kids, to experience for yourself what it's like to be homeless. As you know, our shelter, it's the only youth shelter here in Boulder County. We help our runaway and homeless youth kids return home. Thanks for taking up tonight's challenge, sleeping out to raise awareness for homeless youth and funding for attention homes. We're on a shared lawn in between our administrative offices and First United Methodist Church and we're having to sleep out. There are about 40 people here tonight. It is, what, 11-ish right now, and I think it just dipped below 30. I've never slept outside under the stars in cold weather, and I've never slept on cardboard before, so this should be interesting. Everything extra I had, I have some extra sweatpants, um, gloves, and then my toothbrush is in here. I'm just gonna try and use it as a pillow. We're used to living in, like, you know, with in like really warm houses with nice warm fireplaces and down comforters and then you're out here sleeping on a cardboard box in a sleeping bag, you know, out in the cold. So it's definitely really different and it makes you realize what you've got, so. Attention Homes is important to me because of the fact is like tonight, they have 10 beds and all those beds are full. And that means there's gonna be some kids who aren't gonna be, you know, staying in a warm place tonight. They aren't gonna be safe, they aren't gonna be cared for. In Boulder County, on any given night, there's 160 kids who are homeless, which is a really you know, shocking statistic. We were all kids once. We have kids. Kids are our future. They're human beings, and they shouldn't have to fight so hard for survival. They just shouldn't. No money, no shelter, really no place to go. Afraid a menacing adult will assault me, steal the only thing I have in the world, my own dignity. I remind myself to steer clear of adults. They're dangerous. They prey on youth like me. Where can I hide, catch sleep, and stay out of their way? I mean, it takes a village to raise a child. And if we don't take care of ourselves as a village, we're losing kids left and right. And we can't afford to lose one. <laughs>